See that? See it right there? It's ice. It's ice, my dude. It's ice. It's hecka cold in Tokyo. There's there's ice. It's like not even snow. It doesn't even make sense. It's freezing. It's freezing. It's around 10 a.m. I don't want to go running. I never I never want to go running. Okay, never. But I woke up at seven and decided not to run. And then now it's 10 a.m. and I was like, I should have ran. <laughs> it's wasting time. But my challenge is wrapping up. It's kind of exciting knowing that I was able to do something like this for this month. And I'm just looking forward to my next challenge next month. Uh, let's find out what uh, when the votes come in. I'm looking forward to uh, that next decision. But for now, let's finish one, uh, one challenge to begin another one, right? camera stopped working at like mile three and uh, really sucked but I just decided to just pick it up and just keep running I finished 30 days of running I know there was a few rain days I know I had my sick day but this is going to be a new staple in my life running I don't like it. I didn't want to be out here. I still don't want to be out here. But if I can do it, you can do it. So let's do it together. Nike Run Club, check my link down in the description. Let's do this thing. So I have finished up my, my January challenge here of running an average of five miles a day. Now it started off as five miles a day and then it transformed into averaging five miles a day because I was missing a lot of days. Oh well. Uh, at this time, I'm going to share with you some of my results and uh, bear with me because you know what? Uh, things happen. <laughs> okay, here are some of my results from the month of January. So I kept a running log of every day that I was taking here, January 2021. Uh, looks like I averaged uh, above five miles with a total distance of 142. Now, there's a, there's a run I had uh, at the gym. So this is a hundred and about, I have about 150 miles, uh, 66 minutes is my average time for about five to six miles, which is really, really good. And I think I mentioned before that I averaged about 11 minutes as a comfortable running pace. I know that's quite slow. I think at my age, we need to be around 10 minutes. So I'm going to kind of balance out this, this 11 minute and nine minutes, try to find a healthy medium maybe 10.30, all right, between the two. Uh, we start off very slow in the beginning of January when I first started this challenge. So you can see I was in the good 12 minute mark, 12 minutes, and I stopped a few times here to, to uh, film. So in the beginning, I was doing a lot of running uh, and a lot of filming. Uh, a little later in the month, I started to shrink my 66 minutes into 50 minutes, which was really exciting. Uh, I also started running at night and in the dark, so it was quite colder, less uh, less heat, more wind speed, and that really affected how I would be running uh, in the nighttime, and you know, it's kind of scary running in the dark. Uh, this was my first sick day. Uh, I recognized that it was allergies uh, and not the coronavirus, so that was very, very good to hear. <laughs> Uh, which inspired me then to start running six miles to recover for the five miles that I didn't make up here. Now, what's great is that I started the six miles, right? Because it was to make up for the five miles that I missed. However, uh, I was already running six miles on the fifth day, right? So it was two, 
it was uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I knew I made up my my six my my five miles after the fifth day. But because I was running six miles every day, I wanted to keep up the habit. So it felt really good. Uh, next, we were running six miles every day, trying to find a good healthy comfortable pace sometimes i was tired and i was dehydrated i, I had to uh, take a 12 minute run instead of 11 and some runs what i did was i would run at night for example here and then less than 10 hours later i would go to sleep wake up and run again so i'd had less than 10 hours or less than eight hours in between runs and without rest so i was kind of tired sometimes uh I also started wearing less gear throughout the week. So if you remember, I used to wear like two, three uh, layers of clothes. And now I started to wear one layer of clothing because my body was much warmer. It was it felt much healthier and I was uh, I was much lighter on my feet. <laughs> then later on in the month around the middle, excuse me, in the middle of the month, I started to travel and run. So I went to Skiji. <laughs> I ran with uh, I ran with Jessica. That was great. She actually inspired me to go to Seventh Mile because she was started to run with me. So she started to run uh, one mile challenges on her own, and I joined her after my sixth mile, which gave me a seventh mile. And I didn't I didn't tell you guys about it, which was quite exciting, which was preparing for a seven mile challenge, and that kind of came uh, down here when I started running seven miles. Now the problem with my seven miles is uh, the timing. So because I had to add an extra mile, I didn't know where to go. My my run is from K Kinugasa Station to Kurihama Station, and that run there uh, was at exactly six miles. Like it was so good. It's about 10 kilometers, right? From one station to another three, or five kilometers and then back another three another five kilometers so that was very exciting however adding a seventh mile adding a mile number seven was very odd I, I didn't know how to do it like properly and then the last few days in January were rainy days now I wanted to run in the rain I wanted to go to the gym but the problem I was having with that is timing. You guys know my schedule, you guys know my timing. I have a hard time trying to fight against the rain here, especially if I have to travel to Tokyo. So there you have it guys, I appreciate all the support. And now, for the big reveal, the challenge that was voted for in my video from the other day. Uh, you guys had the opportunity to vote for my next month challenge. I gave you a list. The list was um, cocktail mocktails, clean the house, learning Japanese. I asked you to vote for what worked, what would be my next best challenge, and it fell to yoga. So yoga is the winner of this next February's challenge. I have no idea what yoga is all about, but bear with me. We'll figure it out together. Thanks for the support guys, smash like if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to know my full run in its entirety, the, the January series will show you all about it. If you don't like running, it's fine, I don't like running either, but check this out. I put on some running clothes and running is now a part of my life. Time to run. I don't want to do it, but here's me doing it. Catch you guys later. Peace. Boop.